are many sulfur fertilizer options on the market today, but the majority fall into one of two categories, sulfate sulfur and elemental sulfur. Sulfate sulfur is the only form of sulfur that plants can utilize, but because it is immediately available to plants, it is also prone to loss through leaching. Sulfate sulfur fertilizers are more suited for pre-plant and in-season applications, since the form is readily plant available. Elemental sulfur sources are the most concentrated sulfur carrier, but must be oxidized to sulfate before the plant can utilize it. Since the elemental sulfur form needs to be oxidized to become plant available, fall applications are an option. Without sulfur, plants can't perform basic functions or complete their life cycle, which directly affects a crop's yield potential. Understanding the sulfur cycle can help manage and maximize fertilizers and soil nutrients in your fields. Phases of the sulfur cycle include inputs to the soil, losses from the soil, mineralization, oxidation, and plant uptake. Inputs to the soil that can increase sulfur levels are mineral fertilizer, atmospheric deposition, plant residue, and animal manure biosolids. Losses from the soil are the activities that draw sulfur out of the soil, including crop harvest, runoff and erosion, leaching, volatilization, and mineral formation. Mineralization is the process of transforming organic sulfur into inorganic forms, such as hydrogen sulfide, elemental sulfur, as well as sulfide minerals. Oxidation is the process of transforming hydrogen sulfide, sulfide, and elemental sulfur to sulfate. Plant uptake is when the plant's roots absorb the sulfur as sulfate from the soil. The unharvested plant material returns sulfur in an inorganic form back to the soil. Sulfur plays a vital role in plant development. Each factor throughout the sulfur cycle should be considered when evaluating nutrient management practices to maximize plant nutrient uptake to realize crop yield potential. Although sulfur is categorized as a secondary macronutrient behind nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, this does not imply it is less important. Sulfur is required for several important functions within the plant, including protein synthesis, seed production and producing chlorophyll, nodule formation on root hairs of legume crops, and secondary plant compounds. Deficiency results in low grain quality in crops like wheat. Historically, sulfur and nutrient management practices has been overlooked due to its natural availability from rainfall. But as the amount of sulfur available in the atmosphere has declined, the need for providing additional nutrition to the soil has evolved. This means considering sulfur as part of your fertility program every year.